gradually. If you'll just gradually inject water into this foot, it'll puff up and rehydrate. And once you pump water in here, keep it holding it, reach in and push, and this will work water all the way down to each toe. In about 10 minutes, this squirrel here would be just as easy to skin as if it was fresh. Why a different squirrel form for one running up or running down? They think that, you know, you can use a running up mannequin for a running down mannequin, and they can't. And one of the reasons being is they're just different. These two mannequins right here, this is a running up mannequin, and this is a running down mannequin. And if you can look right up here, this squirrel here is running up, and this one's running down. Now, if we turn this squirrel foam around like this, he would be looking out into space. He would be looking up, though. This one over here, which is running up, if we turn it around, his head would be completely look kind of crazy. So that's the reason you have a running up mannequin and a running down mannequin. You can see right here on this squirrel, This would be running up, with his head up like this, and to have it running down, you have to turn the whole body and lift the head so it would be running down. We're going to take Dawn soap, squirt it on there and turn the water on, and just give it a good washing. Now, you want to be sure that you get all the grit, grime, blood, just any and everything you can out of the skin. Anytime you see a shot hole, just put your finger on the shot hole, roll the skin around, and you can see right where it was. Make sure you get all the blood off that particular spot. Now we're going to blow this squirrel dry. This process is going to take about 15 minutes, but it's real important to get the squirrel dry so it'll fluff real well. So let's get started. This is another method, just in case you don't have an air compressor, but this method works real well. I've used it before. Use preservative, and what you want to do is just take preservative. After you've towel dried it as well as you can, work preservative down into the skin. And what the preservative is going to do, it's going to absorb the moisture and then just shake it out. When it comes to the tail, I use my wire. And I'm going to take the wire and run it straight down the tail, all the way down to the tip, and bust out the tip of the tail down here at the bottom. Now, if you do this, or a mountain squirrel for competition, do not do this because judges are going to be looking for the hole knocked out at the tip of the tail. You just have to be careful. After you get the wire all the way down through it, you can take preservative. Work it down through the tail. This squirrel skin has been skint, flesh, washed, and dried. Now we're getting ready to mount this one running up. This is the mannequin that we're going to be putting it on. This is the way I'm going to fix my own mannequin for mounting these squirrels. The base that I'm putting this squirrel on, it's, it's hard to get each leg to, to fit the wood. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace each leg with clay. That way I can manipulate the leg any way I want them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these legs I'll cut them off right here above the heel. Also going to cut the root of the tail off in case I want to bend the tail up higher. Notice I'm cutting these off right at the elbows up front. There's a little bit of an undercut right here on this leg, so I'm going to cut out a little bit of foam here so I can tuck the hide up under it. These slots that I've cut are wider than they need to be and deeper than they need to be. But I'm going to show you the process during the mountain process for how I took the skin and smooth it back out. I would say that 90% or better of the squirrels I use that I mount, I use 11 millimeter eyes. Some of the small little gray squirrels I use 10, but most of the time 90% of the fox squirrels are 11 millimeter. Now as far as setting the eyes, I just want to be sure that I get them in about the right spot. There's no use spending a whole lot of time and detail right now with the squirrels in your hand because you can't do any of the final work. But what you want to do is be sure that when you set the eyes, 
you have them at the same level like this and then look at it straight down to make sure that one eye is not kicked out a lot further than the other one. I like to have them a little bubble eyed more than they should be. The reason being is during while I'm putting the skin on a lot of times the squirrel will drop on the table and the eye gets pushed back into the head and it's so much easier uh, to sink the eye in with your fingers after you get the skin on and you can see where you really want it than it is to try to pull the eye out and get clay up under the, the eyeball to pull it out further.